Hey everyone, it's Trish with Bird Feed. Happy Easter! I hope everyone's enjoying their Easter Sunday today with family and friends. I know I am. This video is pre-recorded and I thought I would share it with you today on Easter because it is an Easter themed shoebox that I'm calling Here Comes Peter Cottontail. And I've packed it for a five to nine year old girl. I've taken a little shortcut on the box because this is a funky box and I've wrapped one of these before and it did not hold up very well because it has those long ears that tuck all the way down to the bottom. And I thought it was a pretty robin's egg blue, has a big B on the front for bunny. It does say on it, so comfy, it's crazy. <laughs> but I didn't think that was too bad. So I just left it in this pretty blue box. And when this young lady opens her box, she'll see on the inside of the lid, I've decorated it with some Peter Rabbit clip art, otherwise known as Peter Cottontail. And I just wrote on it, you are loved. And when she looks inside her box, she's gonna see a whole lot of fun colorful Easter stuff. And the first thing out of the box is Peter Cottontail. Now, normally you see Peter Rabbit or Peter Cottontail in a blue jacket, like in the Beatrix Potter illustrations. But I thought this rabbit looks so much like Peter Rabbit in this brown coat. It's a brown velvet coat. So I decided to put him in this box. She has a set of bunny ears, which I can just envision her right now. When she opens that box, she's gonna put these on her head because most of these kids do when they get a hat or some crazy headband. I also gave her this pretty hair amazing doll that had all the colors of this shoe box, pinks and purples. I got her on clearance at Walmart for $3.50. And she is wearing what I would call her Easter best in this pretty dress. It looks like it has Easter eggs on it. She's got purple hair, purple legs like leggings and pink shoes. And I did give her some changes of clothing for this doll. Her dress does come off and I gave her some Barbie clothes or or clothes that were meant to fit Barbie they're not the name brand Barbie clothes and I'm gonna give you a little hint if you've got some of these dolls that you're putting in shoe boxes and you want to include changes of clothing don't assume that the clothes that fit Barbie would fit her you need to try them all on. You, you'll, you'll be able to find some that will fit her, but not all of them will. This doll's rib cage or bodice is a lot narrower than Barbie. She's got a shorter waist and bigger hips. And I think she's a little bit taller. So just try the clothing on her. I found this little sundress that fit her. It's, it bunches up a little bit in the bodice, but um, it fits her tight enough on the waist that it, it looks okay on her. And it went well with her shoes because that was another thing. Uh, the Barbie shoes won't fit her. And those shoes do come off, but they are very hard to get off. And once you get them off, they're even harder to get back on. Because I did want to give her a pair of pants, which I don't know if they actually fit her or not because I didn't get to try them on. I got one shoe off and then I, I put it back on and I thought you know, a little girl is not going to be able to do this without help. So um, I decided we're going to give her clothing that she does not have to take her shoes off. And I thought this dress really looked good on her as well so her doll could look like a princess when she's wearing this dress. Like she's going to the ball. It's really pretty on her. So she's got a doll and two changes of clothing and then I also gave her a little Barbie tea set with a teapot and teacups and saucers 
and a cake because it's Easter and she's going to be serving cake for dessert. I gave her a little craft kit. It's a rainbow bracelet loom, crazy loom, rainbow blast. I got this at the Dollar Tree recently and she can make these chain type rubber band bracelets with the instructions, the rubber package of rubber bands, the loom and a little hook. And it's got uh, illustrated instructions. And I got the idea of stuffing it all in the loom from Val at V. Swain's Shoebox Sundays. She just showed a box that had this in it. She's got a jump rope that cost me 10 cents, I think, or 9 cents from Walmart last year after Easter. Maybe they'll have these again this year. She's got one of the Barbie cars that I recently picked up at the Dollar Tree. Great Easter colors in the white with pink, pink wheels and purple interior. I gave her an outfit, a bunny t-shirt that I got last year at Walmart after Easter for 50 cents and it's just the cutest with the little flowers at the hem and a little gray bunny. This is in a size medium, 7-8. And to go with it, I'm giving her a pair of cotton knit shorts with an elastic waist and draw, uh, does this have a real drawstring? Nope, sorry, fake drawstring. It's just got an elastic waist and pockets and um, on the inside or the hip part of the pockets, it has lace in navy blue. She's got a cute Peeps headband that I also got on clearance at Walmart after um, Easter last year has all the little peeps bunnies in the grow grain ribbon and I thought she'd look adorable wearing that with her little outfit. She's got some other hair accessories that I stuffed into this adorable bunny bag. Isn't that cute? This came from Walmart on clearance last year after Easter and some of the hair accessories I also got on clearance after Easter last year these hair elastics with the uh, like netting little poof ball here with bunny ears and beads one in pink and and one in white she's got some black hair elastics with a little tie and beads pink and purple beads on the ends and these were contributed by sally also from Sally, this came in a set, I, I believe. The hair elastics, this little bunny barrette, it's a, I wonder if it's a snap barrette, but it's bunny ears. It's crocheted, it's very cute. And uh, I think it also came with a keychain that's somewhere in the bottom of the box. She's got an assortment of hair barrettes and clips, these little pale pink glittery star clips I got recently on clearance from Walmart. She's got a little bunny snap barrette, some ombre pink and purple ones, and then one with it looks like eggs and butterflies on it. Here's the little keychain. It's a little bunny tail, fluffy keychain that came with the bunny ears and the other hair elastics contributed by Sally. Then also in this little bag that her keychain was in, she's got some mini emery boards, some nail clippers, a mending kit contributed by Joan, and some lip smackers lip balm. She's got some really pretty jewelry. Three beaded bracelets contributed by Karina. It's 
still have a few of these left that she contributed last year and I thought these pink sparkly ones would be perfect for this little girl to go with these adorable earrings. A pair of enameled bunnies and butterflies. This came from Walmart on clearance, I think. Not positive, but I think. As did this little enameled bunny, bunny rabbit necklace. They didn't come together, but they look good together. She has a light up bunny necklace that I got at Walmart after Easter clearance last year at 90% off. So I guess I paid 48 cents for it. And it's one of those that uh, you pull the tab out to make the battery engage. And I don't want to do that. I want it to last as long as possible. So I'm just leaving it all in the packaging so it stays untangled and pretty for her. She's got a very adorable tic-tac-toe game. This was contributed by Denise L. It's got bunnies and carrots. It's so cute. She has a yellow composition notebook for school. She has a Peeps pencil pouch filled with Easter colored school supplies. This came from Walmart after Easter clearance last year. In it came the, a pad of paper, this pad of paper, this Peeps Bunny eraser, a gel pen, and I think this is a push pencil. Then I added, well, I added Easter colored pencils. You see these prints and solid color Easter colored number two pencils a six inch ruler from Angie in purple, a pink stubby highlighter. She's got a purple pair of scissors, assorted Easter egg color cap erasers, a couple of pastel pencil sharpeners, and I added other pens and other erasers. Oh, she's also got a, another bunny. Peter Rabbit bunny eraser and this was contributed by Denise L last year when she sent a box of cute erasers and I think that's all that's in there. She's got a Peter Cottontail storybook spring surprise. I got this a while back at the Dollar Tree and it has the most adorable pictures in it. So colorful and cute. I think that she'll really enjoy having that book to look through. And The Tale of Peter Rabbit coloring book. This also came from the Dollar Tree, but last year. I don't know if they had this this year or not. It has uh, some of the original Beatrix Potter illustrations in it and the story at the bottom as well, if she could possibly read English. But I love this for her. And to color in that coloring book, she's got a few things. Some cute stackable bunny crayons, recently contributed by my friend Sally. And I've given her some colored pencils. These were from Valentine's Day at Walmart. Nine cents for a pack of 10 colored pencils. I actually meant to put a box of crayons in this shoe box, but I forgot. So I'll see if I can fit one in. If not, she'll have to make do with what I've given her. She has some Easter eggs contributed by Sally. And inside, I stuffed her bounce balls. She's got a green one in this egg. And I think a yellow one in this egg. And then she's got a third bounce ball but not in an egg because I couldn't fit another egg. But I think I'm gonna try, this one's lilac. I'm gonna try when I repack to put in one more Easter egg in here. Because I just think it'll be fun for this young girl to open those Easter eggs. She's got a very cute zippered coin purse with a little bunny on it. And that metallic, uh, like glittery confetti inside. No liquid, just dry confetti. 
and it's clear. That came from Walmart on clearance after Easter. <laughs> I got a lot of things after Easter last year. Oh, I meant to show this to you after I showed you the tic-tac-toe game. It's another little bunny. I think this one came from the Dollar Tree. I think it came in a two-pack, and maybe I had uh, one left. But it's very cute little drawstring bunny bag, and I thought she might need something to put her tic-tac-toe pieces in, whether she'll relate this to that, who knows, but... Right now, this is shrink wrapped. She has a fidget spinner. That's also a poppet. The poppets reminded me of Easter eggs. So that's why I put this one in there. She's got another little pad of paper, little bunny with googly eyes. It's just plain solid paper for her to use for her stickers or to doodle in. She has a purple toothbrush contributed by Joan Cowan. A purple painted wooden cross from Hobby Lobby. Playside Creations, which I don't think they carry anymore. And I added a brightly colored satin cord to it so she can either wear it as a necklace or hang it in her room. A little red bunny novelty pen. I think that came from Dollar General. She's got several sheets of stickers, some Peeps bunnies that actually came in that pencil pouch with the other Peeps items, a sheet of red foil hearts, some Centos Easter stickers, and a some sparkly unicorns and bears and hearts, rainbows, and the last thing in her box is a bunny. Can you see the bunnies on it? It's like a tone on tone, pink on pink. It's a bunny drawstring backpack that I made for her. So she can tote all her items home or to school. And that's the Here Comes Peter Cottontail themed shoebox that I've packed for a five to nine year old girl. I hope she loves it as much as I do. I think it turned out really fun and colorful for a five to nine year old. I hope you enjoyed it and got some ideas and inspiration for packing your shoe boxes this year or next. Check out Walmart next week for after Easter clearance. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video. Happy Easter everyone.